analyze one of the best playmakers in the NBA draft, we brought former UCLA point guard Lonzo Ball into the ESPN Sports Science Lab. At six foot six, Lonzo is more than three inches taller than the average NBA point guard. And this length helps Lonzo drop dimes. In our lab, he consistently identifies the open target in less than half a second. And using his long levers, he's able to launch passes as fast as 38 miles per hour in just 21 hundredths of a second. That's about 40% less time than it typically takes Aaron Rodgers to get off a pass. But in order to truly test Lonzo's passing skills, we enlisted his brothers, Angelo and Lamelo. And of course, Stop, that's that big ball of style, baby. His dad, LeVar. And we swapped the hardwood for the blacktop. What we're gonna do is literally have you pass through traffic. Wait oh, minute. wait a minute, with the car moving? With it actually moving. Oh man, this is serious business now. Let's go. Let's Let's go. Wait, hold on. That's what I'm talking about, creativity. Let's go, Mello. So with LeVar behind the wheel. What if that ball ricocheted hit you right in your face? Lonzo will have to whip the ball through two small two-foot wide windows to complete the pass. Ready, go! <laughs> As the SUV approaches at more than 10 miles per hour, Lonzo leads his target by nearly four feet. This trajectory causes the ball to enter the SUV less than three inches from its grab handle. And because he fires this pass at more than 31 miles per hour, it's able to clear the next window with less than three hundredths of a second to spare. That means if Lonzo launched this pass just one mile per hour slower, this ball gets jammed up in traffic. How did that feel? Felt good, you know? I got the best passer in the nation, baby, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, for hey. real. Any other stuff you come up with that ingenious attitude, come see the ball, boys. We'll do it. You're on. In college, Lonzo Ball shot a respectable 41% from the three-point line. But how will his unique jumper hold up at the next level? Find out. We brought him into the ESPN Sports Science Lab and wired them up with a state-of-the-art motion capture suit. Now compared to a more traditional form, like Steph Curry's, in Lonzo's shooting motion, the ball has to travel about 20% farther to get to its release point. And because he brings it up from his left side, before he starts to flick his wrist, his right forearm sits about 50 degrees from the ideal vertical position. But just 12 hundredths of a second before he lets go, Lonzo rotates his right hand directly behind the ball's vertical equator. This normalizes his shot's trajectory and it allows him to impart almost the optimal amount of backspin on the ball. Now at times, when his shot is rushed, he can't fully rotate his hand. And because launch velocity accounts for the majority of shooting errors, this sideways release can increase his chances of missing left or right. But what should keep Lonzo's shot effective in the NBA is that his quick release usually gives him enough time to finish this last second adjustment. In fact, even with these unorthodox mechanics, he's able to consistently get his shot off about 13% quicker than the NBA average. That's only two hundredths of a second behind the release of Golden State's Clay Thompson.